everyone, and welcome to your daily devotional for Monday, November 30th, 2020. It is great to be back with you this week. Last week, I was quite under the weather with an illness that had a lot of the symptoms of COVID-19. I'm also incredibly grateful for my friends who stepped in to lead your devotions last week. So I say thank you to Abby, Ellie, Sarah, Christy, Crystal, and Katie. I hope that you found their reflections meaningful and I, as I said, I'm glad to be back with you this week. Today our prayers, again, come from a resource called Daily Prayer Supplemental Liturgical Resource 5, published by the PCUSA and Westminster John Knox Press. This week we are talking about hope. We have just entered into the season of Advent, a season of hopeful anticipation. So in the next few moments, I invite you to think about what hope means to you. Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 79, verses 8 through 13. And all of the readings today are from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Don't remember the iniquities of past generations. Let your compassion hurry to meet us because we've been brought so low. God of our salvation, help us for the glory of your name. Deliver us and cover our sins for the sake of your name. Why would the nations say, where's their God now? Let vengeance for the spilled blood of your servants be known among the nations before our very eyes. Let the prisoners groaning reach you. With your powerful arm, spare those who are destined to die. Pay back our neighbors seven times over, right where it hurts, for the insults they used on you. Lord, we are, after all, your people and the sheep of your very own pasture. We will give you thanks forever. We will proclaim your praises from one generation to the next. Let us pray. God, we are your servants, and we look to you for direction. Bless us in your mercy that we may endure all that comes our way for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Micah, chapter 4, verses 1 through 5. Listen for God's word. But in the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of the mountains. It will be lifted above the hills. People will stream to it. Many nations will go and say, Come, let's go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God, so that he may teach us his ways and we may walk in God's path. Instruction will come from Zion and the Lord's word from Jerusalem. God will judge between the nations and settle disputes of mighty nations which are far away. They will beat their swords into iron plows and their spears into pruning tools. Nation will not take up sword against nation. They will no longer learn how to make war. All will sit underneath their own grapevines under their own fig trees. There will be no one to terrify them, for the mouth of the Lord of heavenly forces has spoken. Each of the peoples walks in the name of their own God. But as for us, we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and always. This is a beautiful picture of peace repurposing weapons and people sitting together unafraid. What does peace look like to you? Our 
New Testament reading today comes from Revelation chapter 15 verses 1 through 8. Listen again for God's word. Then I saw another great and awe-inspiring sign in heaven. There were seven angels with seven plagues, and these are the last, for with them God's anger is brought to an end. Then I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mixed with fire. Those who gained victory over the beast, its image, and the number of its name were standing by the glass sea, holding harps from God. They sang the song of Moses, God's servant, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and awe-inspiring are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who won't fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? You alone are holy. All nations will come and fall down and worship before you, for your acts of justice have been revealed. After this, I looked, and the temple in heaven, that is the tent of witness, was opened. The seven angels who have the seven plagues came out of the temple. They were clothed in pure, bright linen and had gold sashes around their waist. Then one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven gold bowls full of anger of God who lives forever and always. The temple was filled with smoke from God's glory and power. And no one could go into the temple until the seven plagues of the last seven angels were brought to an end. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I'm struck here by the angels who are singing a beautiful song of praise before the throne. What song of praise? Do you sing to God today? Let us pray. Faithful God, let the seeds of justice which we have sown in tears grow and increase in your sight. May we reap in joy the harvest for which we patiently hope in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, may you feel the presence of the God of hope and love all this week. Go in peace, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.